So today we're going to talk about blasters dry lube versus blasters graphite dry lube. What the differences are and we've gotten some questions from people in customer service calls, emails, product reviews, things like that, that um, sort of question how these products should be used, what they're used for, and ultimately what the difference is between this product and this product. So that's what we're going to go over in this video. Now, if you only take one thing out of this video, this is probably by far the most important thing in the, in the video, is this product dries to like a white haze that's easily removed. This product dries to a black coating that once it dries, you have to use rubbing alcohol or mineral spirits to remove it. So just to show you, there's the dry lube. That's the graphite. So as you can see, you know, they're blatantly different as far as how they look once they've been applied. So naturally you don't want to use the graphite on something that you can see if you don't want a black coating on it. All right, now that both products are dry, you can see the drastic difference between the two. So the graphite dry lube still stays in place and does not easily come off. The residue from the dry lube leaves behind a like a waxy sort of dry film but it's much much easier to uh, remove the overspray from the surface if needed so in a situation like this where i need to get this graphite off of this table what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take some rubbing alcohol put it onto the table and then just wipe it off with a rag and it'll come right off So if you get over, over spray on something, it's not a big deal. Um, you just have to have some rubbing alcohol on hand to be able to get it cleaned off. Um, with that said, if the rubbing alcohol doesn't clean it off, you can always step up to mineral spirits. But when you step up to mineral spirits, if you're using it on paint or sensitive surfaces, we say to check it in an inconspicuous area before you go you know, rubbing the whole part down with uh, mineral spirits. So now going into specifics on our dry lube. Our dry lube works great on any sort of general lubrication application where you do not want an oily residue left behind. So it works great on hinges, latches, drawers, windows, and sliding glass doors are some excellent uses around the house for dry lube where you don't necessarily want an oily residue left behind. The other thing that the dry lube is able to do is also makes a great non-stick coating for outdoor equipment. So snow blowers, shovels, and lawn mowers all benefit from a coat of dry lube. So you can spray the dry lube on the bottom of a lawn mower and keep the grass from sticking. You can spray it on the inside of the snow blower to keep the snow from sticking inside the snow blower. And you can spray it on a shovel to keep the dirt naturally from sticking to the shovel if the, you're dealing with wet clay. The other popular application for dry lube is wood shops. Woodworkers love dry lube because they can use it on their table saws, their miter saws, their routers without fear of contaminating their project with silicone. If you spray this stuff on the tools in your wood shop, it will help the blade, first of all, cut easier. It'll help the wood feed through the machine easier on a table saw and it's great for general lubrication on a miter saw for all the different hinges and places like that. So, like I said, it works great in a wood shop because you don't have any issues with possibly contaminating the wood with silicone that would affect the finish. So, Blaster's graphite dry lube is a little bit more specialized. So, the graphite dry lube will tolerate much more heat than the regular dry lube. The graphite dry lube we rate to 850 degrees, whereas the traditional dry lube that I just spoke of a second ago, that product is only good to about 270 degrees. So this makes the graphite dry lube a great lubricant for high temperature and low load situations. So rollers, chains, things like that that are subjected to high heat, this is a perfect application for the graphite dry lube. Also, because the graphite dry lube is so heat resistant, it makes an excellent anti-seize for fasteners, and it also makes an excellent anti-seize for gaskets. So in situations where you wanna take something apart in the future, you can spray the nuts and bolts down with the graphite dry lube before you put the assembly back together. 
and that will keep that assembly from essentially, you know, seizing in place. In that same train of thought, you can do the exact same thing to gaskets. You can actually coat gaskets with the graphite dry lube and it will keep the gasket from sticking to the surface in the future when you have to take something apart. So by far the most popular application for the graphite dry lube is going to be locks. Now, the graphite dry lube is an excellent lubricator for locks and when you have two parts of a lock cylinder that are coated in the graphite, it makes it so those two parts can easily slide on one another on top of that layer of graphite. One more quick note that you may need to know about the graphite dry lube is it is electrically conductive. So if you spray electrical connectors or have it around electricity, it conducts. So keep that in mind when you're using this product. The graphite itself does conduct electricity. So hopefully that answers any questions you may have regarding Blaster's different dry lubricant products. If you have any other questions, feel free to drop us a comment down below and we'll try to get you pointed in the right direction. As always, thanks for watching.